On your knees. Okay, chop it off. Chop it off. Let's do it. I think what John and Jonathan have done so well with uh, this iteration of Dungeons and Dragons is that, at least for me, being an 80s baby, it reminds me of all the great, wonderful qualities of, of 80s films. It's, uh, it has a bit of The Princess Bride. It has uh, a bit of Goonies. It manages to, to wrap up all of these different tones and colors into one uh, really joyful film. And it, it is about... Uh, um, it's a classic hero's journey, hero quest, uh, about a bunch of misfits that are trying to do better and be better. All right, once the dead man is revived, we can ask him five questions, at which point he will die again, mm -hmm. never to be re-revived. Five, five questions. I don't know, that's just how it works. She was, you know, uh, born from humans, but they abandoned her, so she was uh, taken in by the Wood Elves. She's not really like them. So she always felt kind of off. But one thing about her is that she actually really wants a family. She wants a home. She wants to feel, she wants to fit it in some way. She wants, and, and actually that's what she gets in this film. She kind of gets like, she actually has a family by the end. Edgen Darvis is a little bit different than the characters I, I've played uh, before in the sense that he is uh, uh, undeniably an optimist. He will make the best out of any situation. And I guess um, from the definitions of from the Dungeons & Dragons game, the bard is the inspirer. He is the he or she is the, the one that inspires hope and courage and people to do their best. Throughout my, the, my career, I think I've had a really really good luck with with the the people I've worked with and this film included I mean um Michelle with Holga I don't know who else could do that role other than other than Michelle I mean she's just perfect everyone everyone did their like they they were all their characters everybody has a really really different energy um, which I think works very, very well for um, uh, a story about uh, a group of misfits. So it makes sense that, you know, Sophia is very, very quiet and very um, uh, introverted. And uh, like I said, Justice is um, fun and easy and facile in the moment and is very serious, Michelle's very bright, and I can be all sorts of things, very mercurial. So uh, I, th I really was surprised about how beautifully uh, John and Jonathan had uh, composed this, this symphony of people. The thing about this project um, that would probably make it different from other, you know, fantasy films is that they don't take the, the whole, you know, fantasy world that seriously. We're just see taking our characters and just having fun with it and that's the most realistic because that's what you do in D, &D. and that's what makes D, D so much fun is that you take this this plot and you take your character and you just try to find as many ways to mess the story up and try to find creative ways to 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 solve a problem and that's what this Dungeons and Dragons movie is like.